I was asked to, uh, to say something about the quality of life in Chinese cities. But I, am, uh, I was trained in economics, so I, maybe I, I have a more macro view uh, on the issue rather than uh, 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 the more micro view. I think since the reform uh, in the uh, late 1970s, China's mainland has experienced the fast urbanization. Uh, the level of, of urbanization increased from uh, nearly 20% in 1982 to almost 50% last year. So in the past 30 years, maybe the uh, level of urbanization increased by 1% percentage point per annum. Uh, but the issue is whether the you know, cities make the people's life better. I think the theme of the uh, 2010 Shanghai Expo is better city, better life. The exhibits and the forums of the expo made some further inquiry into the question of what kind of cities make life better. There, m there were many discussions. I, uh, I'm afraid I don't have time to go to the details. But in fact, uh, prior to the uh, 2010 Expo, there have been some efforts to measure quality of life in Chinese cities. Uh, the government uh, ministries, uh, they have initiated projects to measure quality of life in Chinese cities from different perspectives. Uh, such projects include national livable cities, national healthy cities, national civilized cities, national model cities for environment protection, national model cities of smooth traffic, and etc. You know, many, many such uh, government-initiated projects. Uh, <coughs> but in addition to those projects, Universities and uh, research institutes have been also been involved in the study of, of uh, measuring uh, quality of life in cities. Uh, you know, the, the news media reported several, you know, <coughs> findings of different uh, uh, projects. Uh, I don't want to go to the detail. And uh, but you know uh, the the problem is different projects give us different ranking of cities of quality of life. This illustrates that the ranking, to a large extent, depends on how to measure quality of life with different set of indicators and the weights. Therefore, the measure of quality of life in cities, like the measure of the so-called carrying capacity of land or you know something remain in the pre-science stage. Uh, I want to say something about the quality of life and urban density, the quality of life and the urban uh, <coughs> size and the quality of life of uh, inclusiveness of uh, urban development. Uh, one issue in China is uh, uh, the how to what's the you know, urban development strategy, whether we should give high priority to the development of larger cities, the medium-sized cities, or, or the small cities. In 1980s, <coughs> the government gave higher priority to the development of small cities and the towns. But the problem is you know, that the small cities and the towns cannot create many job opportunities in the service sector. And uh, the slow economy scale in, uh, in uh, <coughs> productive and uh, you know, investment and the in infrastructure in investment. So now the government strategy is to, to uh, more balanced development of the different size of cities in China. Uh, <coughs> in many uh, uh, survey of happiness, the, the biggest cities in China, like Beijing, Shanghai, were not the happiest cities in China. But the young people, they still they prefer to go to Beijing, and Shanghai, and Guangzhou. I think because there are different dimensions of happiness. You know, in, in big cities, you have better opportunities, more opportunities. But on the other hand, you, you have more stress. 
you know, uh, more expensive, you know, living. So people have to make trade off between different dimensions. Uh, and uh, you know, I I want to say something about the uh, the quality of life and the in inclusive development of cities. <coughs> in okay, uh, there are another two minutes. Okay. Thank you. Two minutes. Okay. Uh, <coughs> in China, I think one special feature is the household registration system. So, uh <coughs> you know, the the city growth in China is dominated by the, the so-called peasant workers in cities. Uh, so in, in, the, in, in the 2010 census, uh, it, it reported that there were 220 million migrants in cities. They don't have uh, uh, housing registration uh, there. Uh, <coughs> so they have no access. They have a, a, a less access to, to public services, uh, such as schooling of their children, uh, public health care, and uh, they have uh, uh, less access to social insurance programs, and uh, the, you know, and uh, 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 labor protection, you know. So uh, many scholars call the, the urbanization in China the quasi-urbanization or the uh, shallow urbanization. So I think this is the, uh, the problem of uh, future development of China. So maybe in future, we should make the city development more inclusive, more vital, in innovative, and uh, more sustainable. Uh, I think I should stop here. Thank you.